Hey, Alan, welcome back. Still making our way through the Castle of Grief, and it is absolutely giving us some grief. Little portal back here. Stop being rude. Ah, not critical health. A breath of fresh air. Chaos Serpent. Just gotta deal with your friends first. Alright. Now get Pew Pew Laser to death. Um, we've killed 111 enemies, so we've killed all of the original... Uh, enough to cover the original amount of enemies that were spawned in when we first came in. flipped we have now activated our means to get up there so let's do just that I think I thought Oh no, we activated that. That's right. So a quick thing about this. It throws out one of each projectile type uh, that the traps can have, including the porcolator. You can indeed turn yourself into a pig. All right. Just one more gear. That being said, Head on in here. Kill what we can. Uh, the Forsaken Outpost. Doesn't that sound familiar? A door has opened in the Forsaken Outpost from two hubs ago. We still won't be able to access that door until a little bit later. needed green mana. Could go back. Far drop. I remember right there's something extra over there. Let me make a 
too. There we go. Splat. Uh, huh. I thought I could have swore there was something extra over there. Alright. Arguably speaking, the mage is the best equipped to deal with centaurs and slaughters, as the first weapon pierces, which means you can, for the most part, uh, essentially keep them just in a straight line. Bishop flying up. Alright, where are you? There you are. that opened is behind that. Oh, and of course with the uh, centaurs and slaughters, you can uh, kill them even quicker with the Arc of Death because it actually pierces through all guards. We need the rusty key to get in there. Helmet. I spy with my little eye, Quartz Lask. Finally, some, uh, some little bit of healing. Finally back to max green mana. And interestingly enough, it lets out some more chaos serpents.
send out a few blood scourges just to clear the room. So it does do a good amount of work. You just gotta know how to aim it right. Does kind of pale in comparison to, say, the Wraith Birch, which is the cleric's uh, fourth weapon. But, I mean, it is much better than the Quietus, the uh, fourth weapon for the fighter. getting a small stockpile of I'm not going to be dead uh, items. I did bring up with uh, being a mage. They are a bit easier to deal with thanks to the virtue of uh, weapon number one piercing. So if we get ourselves into a uh, little like one way area like I am here, all I gotta do is just spam fire. I uh, quite like shooting a centaur in the Nitar. All right, and by pressing all four of those switches, these open up, which gets us that. And if we had pressed that button in the second hub, this'll open, leading to this hub's secret level. The Desolate Garden. one I actually am not a huge fan of how it's designed. So we've got various switches that are popping up around this area. No means to go up to where those Chaos Serpents were. And dependent on which switch we interact with will determine the outcome of what spawns in. Usually enemies. And we do have 
course, need to press all of the switches to finish the area. And this is why I'm not a huge fan of it, because you've really got to go out of your way to chase these damn switches down. And sometimes it spawns in more than just a couple enemies, or more than just the one enemy. Case in point, both a Slotar and a fucking Chaos Serpent. Because, yeah, it didn't come from there. Huh. Maybe it did. Sad out. Now, is this one going up and down? Doesn't seem like it. taken out the uh, other Chaos Serpent that's in there, so up here is clear for now. <laughs> At least up until another one spawns in, because reasons. Them, but this one in the middle. And now I flipped all of them, all of them. finish out the secret level and then call the episode there. got all of them already, it'll just fill up your mana as you pick it up. It won't, like, upgrade the Blood Scourge to be better or anything. Looks like I can't get what's in there now. Of 
operator of might always appreciate. And yeah, because I fudged up, that's permanently locked off to me now. I forgot that it goes up, but I don't really particularly remember anything of very special importance being in there, especially since the exit that I want to go through is right here. Let's fill up my health. I mean, honestly, I mainly actually just came in for the Crater of Might. And, with that, we'll see y'all next time as we continue this hub. Cheers, y'all.